Reddit. What's something a family member has said that was so incredibly stupid you couldn't believe it came out of their mouth? I'll start. Sister, I know it sounds silly, but I want to name my baby after a country. Me. Well what do you want to call it? Sister. Miami. Me. Um. That's number. Mother, interrupts me. Don't be stupid. Miami is a state, not a country. Me. Fasipum. I thought Detroit was a state. In 5th grade. My dad was giving my little brother some cough medicine. He was about 7 years old. After he took the medicine into his mouth, he started making this weird face. Then a few seconds later spit it all over my dad. I forgot what to do was all he could muster as an explanation. My mother once called 911 to report a suspicious purple cloud in the sky. She's outside smoking and suddenly runs in the house yelling. Everyone gets in the basement and bolts for the basement door. I peek into the basement where she's on the phone with 911. The conversation goes something like this. Hello police, there's a suspicious purple cloud in the sky. I think it might be terrorists. Oh, it is? Okay then. She comes back up the stairs like nothing has happened and tells me dispatch told her it was the Aurora Borealis. See more. The house is on fire. My sister was serious when she said Africa was a country not a continent. I replied that Africa is a continent made up of many countries such as Egypt and Angola. She replied that I'm lying to trick her and that Egypt is really an island off the coast of Spain. She's 20 years old this November. Egypt is really an island off the coast of Spain. Of course she's right. And Spain is an island off the coast of Kansas. In fact it's islands all the way down. We were at Hooters as teenagers, and my friend Dan decides he's gonna lay down the cool guy rap. He asks the waitress where she's from. She says Eastern Europe. Dan then says, smooth as frick. Wait, let me guess, Brazil. I bet that guy owns a lot of Ed Hardy these days. From my grandmother, we shouldn't vote for Obama he's a secret Muslim terrorist. In the end we took her advice didn't vote for Obama. Because we are Australians living in Australia and can't vote in US elections and none of us has ever been to America. My father is just as ignorant. He's born in England. Living in NZ. Never stepped foot in the States. He hates Obama with a passion. Not surprising his favorite show is The O'Reilly Factor. He used to love the Colbert Report until he realized it was a satire. It took him three months. Upon describing how I was born, my mother forgot the term c-section so she said you weren't born. You were removed. Like a tumor. It actually turned out to be hilarious. I'm not a baby, I'm a tumor. My brother has had something along the lines of 6 concussions in the last 10 years. The last time I saw him he started a conversation out with you know when you get a concussion and everything turns green no. No I do not. Well anyway, everything is green right now. Driving home from the mall in a truck with a manual transmission. My mom was on the passenger side and my sister was sitting in the middle trying to dodge the stick shift lever. As I pulled out from the mall driveway onto the road and accelerated, my sister turned toward me and in the most exasperated voice I asked, Why do you have to keep moving that thing back and forth? Back and forth. Just leave it one way or the other. The same sister was playing Clue, the board game, with me once and after the game was over I looked at her card. She hadn't made any marks to indicate possibilities that had been ruled out. The only thing on the card was in the notes section where she had written. I think it was Professor Plum. W the candlestick. Nah, probably not. Think, think, gotta think. For the longest time my mother apparently believed that they used real lava and lava lamps and only upon me telling her a year ago and showing her videos of how lava lamps were made did she believe me. Me. Happily eating drumstick. Um. Lots of muscle on this chicken. Must have done his squats. Brother. You. That's not muscle. Me. Know what exactly am I eating then? Brother. Flesh. My sister once asked me upon which continent China was located. I said sister think about it, Chinese people are called Asians. So China must be located in, to which she replied Africa. 
Sweet my friends were trying to convince me that China was in Asia my only response was to walk across the room to a well placed globe which I put in her lap and walked away. When my sister and I were younger my father was the owner of an auto trucking company. When asked his profession he would jokingly reply that he was a transportator. To this day my sister believes not only that transport that is a real word, but that transport is a fictional word. Accidentally a whole word. You can't have a mental illness because we never noticed anything wrong with you while you were growing up. This is the first thing my parents said to me when I told them about my mental illness when I was 19 and on leave, and had just gotten diagnosed a month earlier. Thanks you guys because that makes sense and I'm wholeheartedly willing to lie on purpose to your faces about this. Remember that the next time they have the flu, you can't be ill now because you weren't ill last week. I was going to use a more serious illness as an example but didn't want to make it sound like I was wishing cancer on your family. Watching dances with wolves with my sister, a HS freshman at the time, her, pointing at union flag on screen. That's stupid. They could at least show the right flag. It doesn't have enough stars. Me. Um. The flag would have had less than 50 stars on it during the civil war. Her. The what? I've never heard of that. You're lying. Me, um, North versus, South, Slavery, Lincoln, Gone with the Wind, her, oh, well, they never taught me about any of that. Ro, just wow, let's hope she's learned a little about that by now. My lazy butt cousin and her husband sat around on their asses, refused to seek employment, and all while collecting over $400 a week from the government, 80% went to weed and beer in addition to food stamps, wick and government insurance programs for their 3 year old daughter, in GA it's called peach care, for 22 straight months, and then I walk in on a conversation between them about how crappy Obama is and how he's destroying the country, even though they survived off his programs for almost 2 straight years, but you'd like to believe that ignorance evades your family, it's sad when you notice that it actually comes from within. Side note, said cousin has recently returned to community college with government grants and financial aid from the state. My cousin, who was 22 at the time, tried to convince me there were 52 states in the USA. He became very angry when I laughed at him. I still think he thinks there are 52 states. You forgot Miami. We were at a family gathering of mostly Catholics. My sister-in-law was explaining about a woman having broken ribs and getting x-rayed. She wondered out loud about using the x-rays as proof of the biblical story of creation since they would confirm the fact that the women have one less rib than men do. I almost doubled over laughing. Apparently this is a common belief because I have seen others on reddit refer to others making similar claims. During an argument about secret Santa gift buying, my idiot cousin had bought a huge crucifix for a very openly buddhist co-worker for their secret Santa gift. She defended the gift by saying that Canada was a Christian country, if non-Christians didn't like it they should get out. Me. Canada has freedom of religion. It's in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Her. Oh yeah? Then why does it say in God we trust on our money? I'm sad that I had to pull out a Canadian bill to check that. Also side note, the new bills are freaking awesome. Edit. There is no in God we trust on our money since some people seem to be confused. I was checking that there wasn't. I spend a lot of time in the US so for me having in god we trust on money doesn't seem that strange. My Russian family's geography skills. Me. He's from Dallas. Michigan. Sister. You mean Dallas. Puto Rico. Mother. Dallas is in Chicago Dumbasses. I can confirm that Dallas is in Texas. No thanks as needed. My sister once asked if the equator line went across the ocean floor, or if they stopped painting it at the coast and just continued at the other side colon. My uncle's wife gave me a full, detailed explanation of what the 7 year itch is. Apparently it's a real condition that covers you in a terrible rash after 7 years of marriage. She'd seen it with her own eyes, that's how she knew it was true. I wanted to ask if she'd contracted it being that she and my uncle had been married for 11 years at that point, but with him in the room, I decided against it. It still makes my head hurt to think about how earnestly she explained this affliction. What in the frick? And presumably she never went and got her STD checked out, either. Not a family I member, but a co-worker, 
Older guy. Early 60s. Southerner. I heard you could make chips out of potatoes. But I ain't never seen it. I wanted to measure out a mile from from our house using the car. I was gonna go jogging. And my mom told me that a mile by car is different than a mile on foot. We. Mother. Sister and I. Were talking to a woman on the train. And she mentioned that she had been on a trip to China. My mother pipes up with. Oh. Did you visit Hadrian's wall? My family must have failed biology because my mom told me once that sharks are mammals and my grandfather told me that dogs can't look up. My mom argues with me to this day that sharks are mammals. Your grandfather just watched Shaun of the Dead too many times. My mom is fairly notorious among our family for wanting to read or see whatever everyone is talking about which on a recent visit resulted in frantic texts about no don't buy 50 shades of grey or for god's sakes if you do do not ever discuss it with me. Managed to dodge that bullet. Anyway, this was a while back when interview with the vampire was what everyone's talking about. So naturally she eagerly bought it and read it. And naturally, a few days later, she was bitching. That book was so gross. All they did was drink blood. Was that necessary? Comma yes. Mom. It's a book about vampires. But it's disgusting. Comma that's sort of the defining characteristics of them. Well. I thought it was gross and no one should read that filth. But it said vampire right on the cover. I didn't know they'd be drinking blood. My sister once pointed out how that a TV show goofed by having a baby played by a baby with blue eyes when both the actors for the parents had brown eyes. My sister has blue eyes. Both my parents have brown eyes. She was well aware of the dominant recessive factors of how eye color works and everything. 2. It's been discussed in my family a bunch of times. My mother once announced that she wanted to take a nap before she went to sleep and could not understand why we all looked at her funny. My Asian mother's classic lines. Do not date white guys. White people have fleas. Anything you own belongs to me because you belong to me. I don't care that you didn't do it. If I yell at you you have to stand there and take it. Privacy you're 23. You don't need privacy. My dad and I are talking to my cousin. Who was about 17 at the time. Before we went to France. Me. I can't wait to go. France is lovely. Go to love Europe. Cousin. So France is a part of Europe? Me. Um. Yeah. You didn't know that? Cousin. No way. That's awesome. Are you guys driving or flying? Me. Shut the heck up. Me and my sisters have names that all start with the same letter. So our family often gets us confused and accidentally calls us by the wrong name. No big deal. Until one day my sister, in an attempt to get me to be quiet, yells at me to shut up, using her own name. Insert sister's name. Shut up. I just looked at her, and watched as her eyes got huge with the realization of her mistake. I just laughed, and laughed, and laughed. Normally I'd have been peer at being confused for one of my sisters, but having her call me by her own name was just too dang funny. She was so conceited, all she could think about was herself. I dated a Korean girl in college, I'm white, and I brought her home for Thanksgiving after dating for 9 months to meet my family. When I first arrived at my aunt's house, we were greeted first by my 91 year old great grandmother. After introducing my girlfriend to her, my grandmother yells loudly, you're such a cute little chunky girl, can you speak English? We broke up shortly after Thanksgiving. Your grandmother is an almost politically correct redneck. My uncle is a generally smart guy, but we were talking at a family reunion once and just randomly he speaks up and says, I just don't get why we need to let gays get married, seriously, what's next? Animals then most of the family agreed with him. I was in the exact situation a few months ago, after everyone started to agree with him, I said aloud, I know, I can't believe they let black and Asian people get married. It's pretty disgusting if you ask me. My entire Asian family gave me a death stare except for my laughing white uncle. My parents don't bring me to many family parties anymore. My brother about his wife, we're going to get pregnant so she doesn't have to deploy. Both are in the army national guard. She was using the guard's money to go to school. She wanted to finish school and not keep up her side of the bargain. 
Also, they already had three kids at the time, neither had a full-time job, and the birth and health care of all three kids had been paid for by welfare. They had also recently asked me for several thousand dollars to help them fight a custody battle for two of the kids. Stupid and offensive. After my grandma died, my family had a gathering at one of my uncle's houses to grieve. One of my aunts, married and not related, super christian came up to my aunts and uncles and said flat out I'm sorry your mom's going to burn in heck. My grandma was a non-religious type. Nobody besides my uncle really liked her at first. But after that everyone pretty much shunned her. My sister upon being teased about being blonde after saying something stupid. I'm not blonde. It's just my hair color. My sister. Can you believe what would happen if they legalize marijuana? Kids would be smoking it everywhere. Me. Would be up to the parent then wouldn't it? Kinda like cigarettes. Her. Yeah but cigarettes aren't addicting. Fasapum. Grandma. Now I don't understand what the big deal is about animals and why the liberals go through so much trouble to, for example, protect the California condor. What a waste of money. Me. Well, grandma, there's a thing called the ecosystem. You know the circle of life. When you start to break down the food chain, be it the top or the bottom, it can have catastrophic results. Not to mention the fact that going extinct is a bit sad. Grandma. Waste of money, I tell you. Animals are animals. If they die, they're dead. It doesn't make a bit of difference. It just costs us tax money to protect those disgusting birds. God will provide. Ecosystem or not, God will provide. Arguing her point from your point of view. Eventually we'll kill off all the animals we need to live. Then we'll die. The rest of the animals will live on like we never existed. Nature will provide. It just might not keep us alive to see it. Mother, the holocaust never happened and the Jews were behind 9-11. We don't get along very much due to differing viewpoints. I've also learned that she doesn't like being called Heinrich Himmler. I think Heinrich Himmler kind of ruined that name though so I think her reaction is sort of appropriate. My mom and I were hanging out in the backyard one evening, and I lamented that we could barely see any stars. This went on to me getting irritated at the amount of light pollution these days. And I wondered aloud how the lack of being able to see stars in the night sky would affect generations that deal with light pollution. My mother's response? What have the stars ever done for us, anyway? Mom, sister, and I walking into downtown Union Station. Big red sign says Union Station. Sister asks hey mom, what's Onion Station I died of laughter. I call it Onion Station all that time, but because it's funny, not because I can't read. My 7 year old cousin told me he wanted to do what they do on Breaking Bad. I asked him what he meant. He shouted, smoke em, double quote. Someone I know kept passing out at home, and finally went to the doctors for it. Turns out he had extremely low iron levels, but he doesn't have anemia. So what was going on? Well, the blood donation center kept calling him, and he'd go in and donate blood, and they'd call, and he'd donate blood, and they'd call. To which I asked, you know, you don't have to donate blood every time they call, and he said, but they called, so I donated blood. That was the end of the logic for this guy, never occurred to him that he might need some blood, himself. They keep records of the last time you donated. You're immediately rejected if you've given in the 6 weeks prior to your visit. A conversation between me and my philosophy major brother, him. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to see it, does it really fall? Me. Yes, of course. Him. But how do you know? Me. Because it's one of the parameters of the situation. Him. But if no one observes it, there's no proof that it happened. Me. So you're suggesting that the first several billion years of our universe didn't happen because no one was around to see it. Him. Yes. Me. Fasipum. My brother, upon noticing the full moon one Halloween night, which also happened to be a Friday. I wonder if Halloween has ever been on Friday the 13th. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.